Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the new DJI Mavic Pro. Now the Mavic Pro is a new drone from DJI who are the makers of the Phantom lineup of drones, which is probably the, the most popular consumer level drone that's out there. Now, if you've been anywhere near the internet recently, you'll know that a lot of people are very excited about this drone. In fact, it's been probably the most asked about item in store over the last couple months since its announcement. The reason why people are so excited about this drone is that the Mavic is a very feature rich drone that's capable of shooting professional level 4K video that looks gorgeous, but it's also very, very compact, lightweight, and portable. So let's take a look first at the physical design of the Mavic. Now the immediately apparent thing here is that size factor. It's just so small. It only weighs 740 grams and they've got some intelligent engineering in here as well. Even when fully extended, it still has a very small footprint, but when you wanna pack it up, the rotors fold inwards. You can leave the props on and makes it even more compact. Now, a lot of drones, you know, you need a dedicated backpack or a special carrying case to fit them and they just take up a bit of space when you're traveling around with them. The Mavic, when it's folded down and even with the associated remote, is so small you can typically fit it anywhere that you'll be able to fit a regular DSLR. Now the camera is positioned at the front of the drone on a small gimbal. It is a non-interchangeable camera, so you're not gonna be switching out lenses and cameras on here, uh, but it does shoot 4K video that's very crisp and very gorgeous looking. It shoots photos at up to 12 megapixels. It has about a 28 millimeter field of view, which is a slightly uh, narrower field of view than on the Phantom lineup of drones. But rest assured, you're not gonna have any compromises in image quality from the fact that this is a very small drone setup. It still gives you really, really good professional level quality. The Mavic has a number of sensors on the bottom and on the front here. These will be used to uh, allow it to avoid flying into obstacles, especially when it's in some of the automatic modes, which we'll touch on later. Uh, the ones on the bottom will also be used in order to, for it to determine its height, which is also used in some automatic modes and lets it land and take off and return to home automatically. There's also a micro SD card slot in here and a USB port. Now the bulk of the center of the drone is made up of this removable rechargeable battery. Now it is an intelligent battery like many of the DJI drone batteries, which means that once it gets to a certain level, it's going to automatically have the drone return to where it took off from. So you're not gonna be flying out somewhere and have the battery die and it's, gonna, and it's not gonna drop out of the sky. It'll come back automatically when it gets to a certain level. Now the battery does have about 27 minutes of flight time in it, assuming there's not excessive wind, which is gonna drain the battery a little bit faster. Um, now that's pretty good. It's fairly competitive compared to other drones on the market. It's still not a huge amount of time, so you'll probably want at least one backup. So the other half of this package is the remote controller for the drone. It's also been designed very well. It's very ergonomic. It's actually very reminiscent of something like a PlayStation controller. A lot smaller and less chunky than, let's say, the, you know, the Phantom controllers, for example. It's got dual joysticks that feel great and are very responsive. One will control movement forwards, backwards, and side to side. The other will control altitude and positioning. It's got shoulder buttons that allow you to trigger or stop video recording or uh, photos. It's got dials on the back which will control the positioning of the camera. You can make it tilt downwards, forwards, wherever you like. Um, and it also has a number of customizable assignable buttons. The central LCD screen will give you a whole wealth of information on a variety of things like your altitude, bearing, and so on. And then in the bottom, these kind of rubberized feet fold out, and this is where you're gonna attach your smartphone, which is gonna be your screen, which lets you see what the camera sees. So if you download the DJI Go app uh, on your phone, connect it to the controller, then you're gonna be seeing what the drone sees. You can also access all of your controls from here. There's a, there's a multitude of settings and features that you can change through this app, but this is where your, your central control is gonna be. You can control the drone without having uh, your, your phone on there and without being able to see the camera, so you can use it with just the remote. You also can do it just with your phone and not with the remote, but the most fully featured way to do it is with the phone and the remote at the same time. So the range on this remote is actually really impressive. It has a seven kilometer range. So the Mavic can fly a very long distance from where you are and you'll still have responsive control, you'll still have a good view of what the Mavic can see. It's very impressive how far you can go with this remote and still have great transmission. Overall, the build quality of the Mavic and the remote are very, very good. You know, some people might think that since the Mavic is so small, it's kind of like a toy. It, it may look like that, but it is very solidly built. It feels good, it feels weighty, the controller is very ergonomic great high points for build quality all around. 
But the Mavic is not just a pretty face, it's also very feature rich. The drone can take off and land by itself. I already mentioned the return to home feature, so if you want it to come back, you can just press the return to home button and it'll fly right back. It'll also do the same when it's low on battery power. It has a beginner mode. If you've never flown a drone before, you're a little nervous, put in beginner mode, it'll limit the range and the speed of the drone so you can get used to it. On the other side of that spectrum is sports mode. Now this is what unlocks the Mavic's absolute high top speed of 64 kilometers per hour, which is really quite fast. Now this does disable uh, obstacle avoidance, so you're gonna wanna be careful when you're in this mode for more advanced users. There's also a variety of automatic modes. These range from things like tap fly, where you can look at your screen and tap where you want it to fly to. There's terrain tracking, where it'll use its bottom facing sensors to determine the height above the ground and it'll adjust its altitude as you go up or down a hill so that you maintain a consistent altitude relative to the ground. There's also gestures where the camera can be pointed at you and you can use a gesture to have it initiate tracking you or have it take a selfie photo of you based on the specific gesture that you use. You can have it automatically circle a point of interest that you specify. The list goes on and on. One of the most impressive of these automatic modes is active track. Now this is a mode where you can use your smartphone and tap on the screen to have it track a certain subject. It can even be yourself. Then you can put the, uh, the remote down basically and just walk around or run around somewhere. It'll track you automatically. Now it's gonna be using its sensors while it's doing this to make sure that it doesn't automatically fly into any kind of object or obstacle. You can see here I was on my longboard. I went behind this tree here it saw the tree and automatically stopped itself. So that was really impressive. I think the actual tracker did a really good job and it's gonna be very useful for people who wanna shoot maybe action sports. If they're by themselves, they don't have someone else to pilot the drone and shoot them. It does a really good job. It also has tripod mode. And this is going to slow the drone down quite a bit and allow you to pilot with a lot more precision. So this is useful if you're doing, you know, flying in some tight spaces, you don't have a lot of movement, you know, there's a lot of obstacles around, you wanna get a very precise shot. This is excellent for that, as opposed to you know, the, the kind of speed that you might want in a big wide open area. So that's by no means all of the features, that's just a small sampling, but you can see how this really opens up so many different options and different ways to shoot. You can chuck it into sports mode to get some high speed action shots, tripod mode for precision flying, put it in active track and have it track around without having anyone having to control it. Just the, the possibilities are really, really wide open. I was really impressed with the feature set on this, on this drone. And then the third major selling point for the Mavic, at least in my opinion, is its ease of use. So obviously we can get you know, very in depth with all the features and so on that I just touched on, uh, but if it's your first time flying a drone, you've never flown one before, you can definitely get started very easily with the Mavic. Getting started on your first flight with the Mavic is as easy as unfolding the drone, attaching your smartphone to the remote, turning on both the drone and the remote, they'll pair up, and basically just pressing take off on your smartphone and the Mavic will be in the air. Once it's up there, it's very easy to control. The remote is very responsive. You've got the screen. Uh, everything is, works well, even at long distances, like I already touched on. It's just a very easy way to get started with your first drone. If you've never flown a drone before and are very interested, the Mavic is a very easy way to get into that. Now, there are other drones on the market that are as fully featured as the Mavic, and there are other drones that are small and compact like the Mavic, but there's not really one that's both, and that's really the strength of the Mavic and why so many people are excited about it. It allows you to shoot professional level, gorgeous looking footage with a very rich feature set, which allows you to shoot in a lot of different situations while still being so compact and portable that it's easy to bring everywhere. Like I said, anywhere that you can bring a DSLR, you can pretty much bring the Mavic. Just as an example, I'm here shooting this video on this cricket pitch, and I was able to get here just on my longboard because I was able to fit the Mavic and the controller as well as all of the video gear that I need to shoot this just in my backpack here, and I still had lots of room to spare. So you can see how this really opens up the possibilities with what you can shoot with a drone because you don't need a huge you know, setup to bring your drone there. You can just chuck it in your, your messenger bag, whatever you've got on you, and it's just so portable. The Mavic is definitely one of the best drones on the market and easily the best drone if you're looking for something specific that will give you professional level footage in a small compact package. Now you can order the Mavic on our website at www.digidirect.com.au or in store, of course, we've got stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, Chatswood, the Melbourne and Brisbane CBDs, and a new one in Western Australia in Cannington, which is just outside of Perth. Thanks guys, take care.
Days are numbered, your time is at an end. It was too tough to resist. They pulled you under, and history has the rest. I don't want you thinking. Until the 